slowly Polestar 2 is uh, a really cool car and uh, some people might think that it's uh, one of the best EVs out there. And there is one thing that a lot of people really dislike about this car, this uh, one weakness so to say. So in this video I figured uh, we would take a look at one uh, way of uh, solving or trying to fix this uh, issue that the Polestar 2 has. And, uh, I'm going to show you what it is too. So, in the Polestar 2, the biggest discussion on this car is typically concerning the center console. And then there's the other thing which is the lack of cup holders. So, uh, if, you, if you're using the armrest, you're probably going to pull it forward, uh, which means that you're going to block the cup holder down here. And if you're using the armrest, well, even at all, then you're blocking the other cup holder, which is down here, below that one. So, this means that cup holders here in the front is really, really limited. It's like either one or none. So, you don't really have many options. And this is really a downside um, um, for the Polestar. And it's because of the design of the uh, center console. So... There is a solution for this, and there is a design for a cup holder. And this is um, 3D printed, so these files can be bought and downloaded online on uh, Cults 3D. So it's a three part design, which means that you have this um, the cup part uh, as a one piece, and then you print this um, uh, like a hanger, the second piece, and then you just slide together. There is also a different part of the a different version of this one so that you could put the cup holder in front of the screen <laughs> if you would like that but, but it's possible so you put these together like this and then you have cup holder so this one is good and then there are different um, inserts in here too and they just snap in here so I mean you could print any color you like right but um, the beauty about this one is that it just hooks in here in the in the glove box uh, lid so it's really sturdy it doesn't come loose you, ha you have to print it at uh, a kind of low resolution in order to get the uh, high quality it takes a lot of time but um, it's a really good way to fix um, this um, issue uh, but the thing then is that it doesn't really hold your beverage in place here so it's gonna jump around a bit and that's why there is a second version of this one. So this is um, the same, this part, it's just a different color. And then there is a insert here that I have actually glued in place. So I cannot, can I? Yeah, I could take that apart. So there's a insert here and this is printed in one piece, one go. And you break these uh, little tabs here, these six tabs, they're printed in here. So you break them free, you clear a little bit over here with a knife and then you put a rubber band in this one. And this is so clever, I have to say that it's so clever, I mean I wish it was my idea, but it's not. So you push this in here and what happens is that it's going to adapt to the size of your beverage. So it will hold almost all, all of the sizes firmly and it even fits this uh, big one here and uh, it just snaps in okay so then you have this thing and it's gonna keep it more um, stable like that so I think this is really good and um, of course you need a 3d printer perhaps you could do download this file from Cults 3d and um, I'm gonna put that in a link in the description for this file and maybe you can ask some company to print this for you but maybe you can even get like a higher quality finish and since um, I mean finish wise here I think it looks okay but it's not like factory made it I mean I wish this was like like Polestar could make this like a proper plastic piece <laughs> it would look so cool but it works really well. And that's the fix. That's the fix for the cup holders in the Polestar 2. 
So, I figured I would show you where I found this file. So, first of all, you go to cults3d.com and in the search box here, you type in pole, pole star 2. It's a bit hard to see. And here we have uh, a few search results for the pole star 2. Most of this stuff below here is just irrelevant. There are a few different files here that you could uh, purchase, download, and print like these dividers and then we have a holder for the sunglasses if you for some reason need that and then we have what we came for we have the cup holder for the Polestar 2 so what you do here is that you, you purchase this file it's about 6 euro so it's not that bad and you get a pack of all of these different files for different versions of this one and uh, you download them, you decide which one you want, and then you print them, and then you get the final product. So that is basically just how it works. And um, after you have um, downloaded all of, all of these files, um, you would put them in a slicer that would send it to the printer. And uh, this is the one that I'm using. So here we have the, the mounting bracket for the glove box lid. And... Uh, this is what it looks like. It goes this way. And then you have another file which is the cup holder itself. There are different versions of this one. But this is the one that I chose to print. Um, so, yeah, looks like this. And then you have the best part of, uh, about this, which is this adaptive reducer ring. So this one uh, prints as in one piece. And then you just uh, do a little bit of a manual labor to clean this up. Uh, put a rubber band in here and there you have it that's finished so it's um rather easy to get these parts printed and uh, working uh, a little bit of like sanding cutting is required but it, it's, it's not that bad it just takes a long time to print them but if you don't mind that this is a really good option for getting cup holders for your pole start too anyhow that's all i had for you for today see you in the next one